Alright guys, today I'm going to be doing another upgrade to my bike um, I thought I'd film it, just in case there's people out there that want to know how to do it It's the first time I've ever done it, so I think it's pretty straightforward It's a Pinia rack, it's, this one's from Halfords You can get them all different places um, I had to get one that's compatible with disc brakes I did buy one that wasn't and I had to take it back, it didn't fit um, It goes on the back There's some instructions here, so I'll just take them off and uh, see how we go. Put that aside for a second. Should be pretty straightforward. Not expecting anything uh, too difficult. And there we go. Looks like two spaces. Two extended bars which I think they go in there. Um and a couple of screws and washers. Right, so put two there, two there. Separating them into twos because I'm sure that's how it goes, just two sides. So there are all the pieces. And there, here's the instructions. So we'll have a quick, we'll have a quick look now and just set this camera up. I was going to do it outside, but it's, uh, it's raining, so I'd like to bring my bike into my little tiny workshop. Uh, I'm doing yeah. Right, so I don't know if you can see, but there's the diagram. It's pretty straightforward. This big one goes through there, through there, through there, like that. So I imagine that screws into the bike. So let's just stick that there. Do the same this side. I don't know if it makes a difference which, which way that's turned. It looks identical both sides. And so does that. So I don't think it makes a difference. So you put that through there. And the spacer through there. So there's two different types of bolts with them. I'm not sure I'm have to check what's what. Because it's showing on the diagram the two two of them go into the top. Or is that just to loosen it? Showing two go two go there, which um, there's already two there's already two on there. Because what happens then is this part swings around like that, and then this goes on the back of the bike, which I'm going to spin the bike around or spin the camera on and show you the bike now. So, so let's get set up with the bike. I'm a little cramped for space, so here's the bike. Let's spin our light around. So let's set this up. Let me get if I put this right here. Take that there as a stand. Pretty sure. Pretty sure you can see what I'm doing there. That goes there. Like that. How's the view? The bit that I've just unfolded goes on these. 
screws here that are on the bag, so I'm going to have to undo that. And these go through. And then the extendable bits that go in here, I think they go into that hole there. Let's just have a quick check. In fact, if I take that off, I think it's going to be easier. I'll just put these on first. Let me get my Allen keys. This is, uh, this is what I keep in this back compartment here. Some Allen keys. Some tools. We'll take all them out. are wet so uh, I don't think this is the waterproof holder I just want to do that up do it loosely and the same on the other side Just the same as this. So be on the other side. I can uh, bring the camera around just to show you. We're real cramped for space. So. This hole there. Do I have that, that side? Yeah. The gear cable is uh, not in the way, but I'm going to have it running inside instead of outside pushing it out. I think it's a lot. That's the way. A lot safer. Let's That loose at the moment so, so far we've got one that side and one that side and I'm gonna undo these and uh, hopefully it's the same size yep do one handed this rack and all 25 kilos which is way more than I'm ever going to put on this, like 50, 50 pound. Try not to lose any bits. Oh, there's a tiny little Allen key I lost a while ago. Nice. I'm going to take this one off now. Done there. Now, look at this. It's caught on a bad sign. I do need a bigger workshop. Alright, so that, they go on there like that. So, first of all, before we do that, slide these in there. And one on the other side, if you can see through there. Let me just put 
this down a sec. That seems a little wider. I don't know if that's right. Standing up straight. I should have a bike stand. Maybe that's the next thing I get. Right before I adjust these, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick the screws back in the top here. So we know where we are. First one goes in. Try not to cross thread it. Stick this in one second. Chair down. This is going to be real time as it happens. No edits. Make sure I don't cross thread. Ball come back in. So right angle there. I'm gonna loosen this as well. Yeah. Movement, let me just show you. So, this got an opportunity to move as well. The same size. Yeah. Um, let me just have a look at the instructions, just in case I am doing something wrong. Right, fit two adjustable leg bars, the vertical tubes, human rack using 10mm, 5mm boat motions. I think we're doing it right. So what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to stick this bolt in the other side. See what happens. Okay, you can see from by there. It's not the right angle for this, really. But I think you've just got to make it fit. It's a lot more fiddly. The last thing I want to do is cross thread this bolt. Maybe, maybe I should I think take that off, make it a bit easier. Yeah, so don't put 
Don't put those legs in first. Do this first. Thing is, when there's so many different moving parts, make sure you loosen them all. So everything's got a bit of give. Took them out. So everything's got a bit of give, yeah. That slides. Put that one in first. No, I'm not going to do this one first because it's on the other side. Push that too far down. There we go. They're both in. Now you've got three holes to decide how high you want it. So I think I'm going to have it on the first one there. So there's four bolts and uh, we only need two so try and figure out which one we, which one it is and some washers too so. so this is what we got we've got six washers and four bolts two different types I think, I don't think it's gonna make a difference which one you use, but I think I'm gonna use these rounded ones. I'm gonna put two washers on each. Can you see that? Raise that slightly. Are these not black? I should have sprayed them black first. I might spray them back black when I finish. So I've put two washes on. I'm not sure where well, I should have just put one. That should be okay. I'm not sure if I should have used that one. to use um, I'm actually going to change it from, from that one to, to that one because it's a little bit longer I'm going to take this one out and I'm only going to use one washer I think these ones are for the, the bar that this bar, if your bike haven't got any, I think that's what that's for, just spares. And my bike already come with them, so. Yeah, so I'm gonna use this one, which is the longer of the two. And I'm only gonna use one washer. No, I'm not, because that's not gonna fit. Yeah. Yes it is. Yeah, that's 
nice. That'll do. So these are just some spares. Side of the bike. I said I'm really cramped for space, man. It is what it is. Make sure that's lined up the same. Can you see? Right now, next adjustment is this piece here. So that slides back and forth. So I'm gonna have it as far back as I can. You can have it up there, but I'm gonna have it as far back as it goes. Seems to make more sense to me. So let's tighten this up. That's nice and tight. Now let's make sure these these are tight down here. I think I should have maybe used some lock tights on these ones, but oh, that's okay. That one's tight. This one. Make sure that's tight. Tight. I'm not sure these ones are tight. That's tight. The last one. That's tight. So, there we have it. It's fitted. That's sturdy. It's uh, pretty cool. It's got a spring loaded thing there to hold a bag down, but I'm going to get some, some bags to go on it probably. But for now, I'm well happy. What do you think? This uh, video has been helpful. Smash the like. Uh, if you're into bikes and stuff, maybe consider subscribing. Because I'm going to be doing a, quite a bit of bike stuff in the uh, coming videos. So, yeah, happy days. Peace out. See you soon.